my business over the last couple of years has been intense focus on that vision and the details and craftsmanship that go into creating that guitar. And then I put them in the hands of collectors, players, and people that just appreciate the instrument. And I let them be the ambassador to that guitar. So, um, you know, rarely will I stand up and say, you know, this is the, the most beautiful, amazing guitar on the planet. Look what I did. Everybody should pat me on the back. Um, I hand it to someone else and I let them give their honest assessment. And for the most part, those, those assessments of, of the guitars that I build have been very positive and people have taken notice and it's allowed that reputation and that brand to grow. Now, I have a commitment to my clients to stand behind that. You know, if somebody orders a guitar from me because they played one a couple months ago, I have to build them just as good of a guitar or better. I should technically be improving with every single guitar. So <clears throat> I like to think that each new guitar that I make is better than the last one. Um, and as long as that continues to happen, I'll continue to enjoy this career. I think the day that I wake up and I go, this is it, I've reached the, the pinnacle of my career, then I need to go find something else to do. Um, and I don't think that'll ever happen. I, I truly believe you can do this for an entire lifetime. And there's always going to be something you can do better, you can do more efficiently. Um, so that's one of the excitements for me is that even though I've done this over and over and over again, every guitar is different, every guitar is unique, and I still get excited. Um, there's different stages in building an instrument that are exciting for me. The first one is when you kind of pick out the woods and you start to have a vision of what you think it's going to look like, and, and you're like, oh, this is going to be cool. And then there's another part, you know, a couple weeks into it where it starts to come together and look like a guitar. And then you're like, oh, wow, look, I'm, I'm building this. I mean, this is exciting. And then the final part from, well, the, kind of the next two is after you've sprayed the finish on it, now it's like a real guitar. And you're like, oh, wow, like, you know, I picked out the right woods. I, I, I did everything, you know, the way that I wanted it to. And then you string it up. And, and that is magical. I mean, that, I don't have any kids. So to me, like, that's my child has just graduated from university and gotten a degree and just got a great job and I'm sending them off into the world. Like, that's, that's that feeling for me where I go, man, I'm a good parent. I really did a good job with this one. Um, <clears throat> and it's a neat feeling. And you get to feel it over and over and over again. Um, the other part that I don't get to witness as often is when that guitar then ends up in the hands of the, the person who purchased it. And they've been anxiously awaiting this instrument. In my case, for years, I have a seven year wait list for one of my guitars. So <clears throat> most of the guitars I'm del delivering today were commissioned four years ago, five years ago. So if you think about you know, kind of the emotional roller coaster that goes into a multi year anticipation. There's days where they're super excited, there's days where they've totally forgotten about it. Um, but as it gets close, it's like years of emotion start to come up. And then you reach this point before the guitar gets delivered where they get anxious. It's like, what if it's not what I wanted? What if, you know, this whole wait has been, you know, in vain? And then the guitar shows up. And they open up the case and they look at it and and the visual aspect of it is phenomenal and they're excited and then they pick it up and there's this look on their face the moment they strum that guitar where it's like suddenly that five-year wait doesn't matter anymore it's everything they wanted it to be and more and it's it's a magical experience and for me I derive more pleasure in that moment and then what happens after that as that person goes through their life creating music, whether they're a professional musician or just someone that plays in their family room, those moments are more special to me than any 
pleasure I ever derived from playing the guitar myself. Um, because you now feel like you've done something to make somebody else feel really good. And it's going to happen over and over and over again. And that's a really, really special place to be. And I will tell you that I don't think there are many professions where you can say that. 